Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is Reading Through the Bible. On this edition of Reading Through the Bible, we're going to be reading Ephesians chapter 3. The mystery of the gospel revealed. For this reason, I, Paul, a prisoner of Christ Jesus on behalf of the Gentiles, assuming that you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for you, how the mystery was made known to me by revelation. As I have written briefly, when you read this, you can perceive my insight in the mystery of Christ, which was not made known to the Son of Men and other generations as it has been now revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. This mystery is that the Gentiles are fellow heirs, members of the same body, and partakers of promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. Of this gospel I made a minister according to the gift of God's grace, which was given me by the working of his power. To me, though, I am the very least of all the saints. This grace was given to preach to the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ, and to bring to light for everyone what is the plan of the mystery hidden for ages and God, who created all things. So that through the church, the manifold wisdom of God might now be made known to the rulers and authorities in heavenly places. This was according to the eternal purposes that he realized in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom he has boldness and access with confidence through our faith in him. So I ask you not to lose heart over what I'm suffering for you, which is your glory. So this part of chapter 3 of Ephesians is talking about Paul. Uh, he's writing the letter uh, in prison. And so he's talking about Gentiles. So these are people that are not of the Jewish lineage. Um, they are people that normally they would not associate as someone that could be a Christ follower. However, the message of Christ at this point, because of what he did on the cross, is available to everyone. And this is what Paul was trying to say, is that the Gentiles are also heirs to salvation. And this message was spread all throughout the world. And that's how we know the truth today because of uh, the very things that Paul was doing in his ministry by spreading the news of the gospel all across the world. Verse 14, prayers for spiritual strength. For this reason I bow my knee before the Father, from whom every family in heaven on earth is named, that according to the riches of his glory, he might grant you to be strengthened with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you being rooted and grounded in love may have strength to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think according to the power and work with us. To him be the glory in the church and in Christ throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. So in this last part of chapter 3, it is talking about Paul saying a prayer for the people uh, that he's writing this letter to, to give them strength and courage and that they may know the goodness of Christ in their hearts and be able to do great things because of that. Um, so in all this, it's basically asking that Christ be with them. So it's the same thing with us, that we need to ask God to be with us in our daily lives to strengthen us. Because some of the things that the people in this writing were going through, it's not exactly the same, but there are similar struggles that we face on a daily basis. So we need that strength that God is giving as well. I hope you enjoyed this edition of Reading Through the Bible. We will be back with chapter 2 of Ephesians next.